Okay. So I want to say um, why I turned this, why I wanted to use this big piece of cedar into a wishing well. Because it's not a stable piece of cedar. There's lots of rot all throughout here. And um, termites were starting to get into it or carpenter ants. I think carpenter ants. What I did yesterday wrong, uh, I'll be the first to admit it. I don't care. I just made that video kind of behind the scenes. I could have had it cut out and then not filmed it and just showed you guys. Look, I got it cut out. went awesome. But it's raining here a bit. But anyways, the this is my 500 I. The subscribers helped me buy this last year. Thank you for everybody that chipped in towards this. I have my 25 inch bar on there. It was too small and it didn't cut all the way through the wood. So then I had to do one cut here. Then I had to come around the back and it was hard to line the lines up for around the back. And another thing too, sooner or later, I Steve Kenzora, I do need to buy a scaffolding because this, why I had to drop it to get that piece out because this 500 i is not a light saw it's like i think 78 cc so this saw rips it was unsafe for me to hold it up here okay that's just my opinion i knew it created more work dropping it to the ground but that it was safer i knew i was going to get the job done it was just safer so that was just me being safer for myself and one more thing too, when you're cutting out a big square like this, I knew I could have cut it out, right? And then put an X in here and then just took piece out by piece. But I wanted to get this piece out in one big piece, all right? Because I'm going to split it in half. It's, it's going to be two feet taller. So this is six feet. Well, it's like five and a half feet. I'm five, five foot five. I'm five foot six. This is two feet. So it's going to be two feet higher anyways. <laughs> so if it, if i didn't cut this perfectly straight inside here it's like trying to get an oversized square through a circle it's not going to go because you got different shapes and it's like this and this and it, it's not going to slide out unless you do perfectly perfect square cut okay otherwise you're going to have a problem getting it out i don't care what anybody says so to cut this so let me i know i'm going fast here but why do i not do square cuts i have a problem doing square cuts like cut the bottom of the log square so the log will sit straight why do i not do square cuts well i'm left-handed this is an excuse it's not a very valid excuse but it is an excuse i'm left-handed these saws are right-handed saws so it, it makes me kind of lean the other way but a big huge factor is if your chain's not sharp and perfect, every tooth's perfect to each other with the same pitch. Because if you sharpen your tooth on your chainsaw and the teeth are crooked and the everything's not the same, it's gonna make your cuts curve in the wood, okay? It's gonna make it go one way or the other way. So, hmm, I wanna cut this bottom piece. This is probably like, this log was a thousand pounds easy. This log was a thousand pounds easy. But when I cut this roof, it's going to be like a joist, right? So it's going to be like this or a dorm or whatever you want to call it. I want to do straight cuts. So how can I correct that problem? Well, I got to have perfect teeth on my chainsaw. Chains. So I brought my bigger bar. This is my 25 inch bar with a skip tooth. But I brought my, I think it's a 34 inch bar. And I'm going to show you the tool that I'm going to use. I'm gonna, we're going to go into the shop, show you the tool I'm going to use to make my, my teeth perfect. Every single one. Like a brand new chain. Stand by. It's raining. Okay, so this is my Oregon chainsaw grinder, okay? Uh, what I'm saying here is there's tons of videos on YouTube to learn how to use this. Um, I'm not going to teach how to use it because I just don't know enough about it. But it makes your chainsaw chain perfectly like it's brand new probably even a bit better so but i'm at home doing a voiceover because my new microphone that i got is not um recording the microphone when i'm talking here so 
I'm asking a quick favor. I don't ask too much. I hope I don't anyways. If I die by a freak accident, I don't know if I'm going to heaven or hell. Hell, I'm pushing towards heaven right now. I'm trying my best. So, but if I die in a freak accident, could you guys chip in, like, find me a cheap one of those loudspeakers that the directors on the movie sets used to use? Action cut! You know, it looks like a tuba. It's super loud. <clears throat> and, uh chip in 20 bucks and send it to my family members for my service so for when i get cremated it goes with me so when i get to heaven or hell wherever i'm gonna go once again hoping heaven that uh, i can take it with me and when i get there i can yell like as loud as possibly i can can you fucking hear me this is not a microphone you guys know how much money i have spent on microphones you all think you YouTubers that watch this think that you're great with your microphones? It's bullshit. I don't care. Wi-Fi mo microphones suck ass. Okay, so I don't know how well it's going to work, so turn it on. I got it locked up. Oh, I didn't have it locked up, see? It's locked up in there now. Cut it. And you don't want to do it too hard. Just do it little strokes because you don't want to heat that tooth up. Okay, next one. Lock it up. Next one. Lock it up. I don't know if you guys can see it cutting or not. And so on. Okay, so that side of the chain's already cut. I have it set on 35 degrees here. I wish I would have done 30, but that's okay. So. If you got this set on 35 degrees, you got to make sure the other side's set on 35 degrees too. So you just undo this. You spin it to 35 degrees right here on the other side. And that's how you sharpen the other side of your chain. Okay, boom, boom, sharpen. That's all, just like that. Let's go get some honey. Okay, so I sharpened uh, both chains on both bars. I still got the 25 inch bar on here. What I'm gonna do is I got this uh, squared off and I'm gonna cut this square because I wanna try and, well, make it square to go up there, up, up there, kind of. Okay, so that looks square enough to me. So I gotta figure out how big, cause the triangle's gonna be right here, right? Oh, so like this, this, and I'll use this part for the top, but I need two pieces. And should I cut it at one time and then split it, or should I cut them separate? Maybe if I get a template, but I don't have any cardboard here for a template. 
but I could use that for a template but well I just don't know do you know Okay, so it's turning out to be a nice day. So, I got the uh, roof drawn on. I just uh, fell in the center, squared it up, did a pitch, pitch. I don't care if this roof doesn't turn out perfect. It's like 6,000 year old, no, I mean 6 million year old wishing well, right? From when dragons and wizards and stuff were alive. But so now I'm gonna hook up my bigger bar and just do a nice cut right here. On both sides and hope it works out then i'll flip it stand it up and then i'll split it down the middle so i got two of these pieces to go up there <laughs> So there you go. You can see where the uh, carpenter ants have their nested here. So that's what I was talking about. All this rot. And it goes further too. So now I'll just clean up this rot. And kind of get them up there for a test sample. It's a mess I tell ya. It's a mess. Now I'm going to rake all this up and just get rid of all this stuff. Sawdust. And uh, blow these off and then get them up there. Hope they're not too heavy. Just to show you guys how much rot was in there. Well, you can see it for yourself. So I cut it all out basically. 
So uh, critters can't move back in. Yeah. I'm not worried about that because that's going to be on the inside. It's going to be all hidden by the uh, uh, by the boards that are going to go in there. You good boy? Good boy? Shake a paw. Sit. Sit. Shake a paw. Shake a paw. Shake a paw. Oh, drool. Shake a paw. Good boy. Good boy. Here you go. Now run off. Gentle. Have fun. Carry on. Okay, let's go get these uh, tops on there. Nice filming, Jordy. So I wasn't filming, but I got them up there. They weren't that heavy, maybe 40 pounds, 50 pounds. So I guess I'll have to square them off. I want them overhanging the sides because so you can see the roof's going to be coming down the front, right? But I want them hanging all over the sides so I have room to carve, like I suggest. Suggest and every well, that's anyways, Jordy. Pay attention here. Um, yeah, so I want to have because I'm thinking about carving like a tree up here. Or vines and having the roots down here let me see here having the roots come down here or something but I don't I don't really have enough room down there but up here I could carve a wood spirit looking down so it will be like it will be like this because this isn't just gonna be like a square roof you know so I've done cedar shakes my whole most of my life roofing so this roof is going to be like, it's going to be shaped like a Chinese thing on each side. It's not just going to be square. It's going to be rounded and have a point up there. So you won't see this stuff because boards will be covering it. I wish I had boards here. I'll have to check because I got to try and line it up and I'd like to get these screwed down. And like I said, I don't think, I don't expect this thing to be totally square. You know, the least it's unsquare actually, the better. You know, because then it looks older. Because the top's not 100% square. Nothing is. So I got this old board here. I'm not gonna film, I'm gonna cut it into pieces. And then I'm gonna try and line these. Cause I gotta line this up too, right? The two faces, I'm not a framer. I've never built houses and stuff like that, right? Yeah, I could put shakes on and do whatever, but I can't build a friggin' house. It's like what I'm doing here is building the friggin' house. And what really sucks is when you you want to do this, but you forget your stepladder at that on-site carve. So I got to figure something out. Okay, so I found a little uh, step thing. You know what sucks really bad? Is when you go up there to put a board, you hit this edge piece and it falls off. So I'll lift this back up there. I'll film, I'll, now I can film me doing it anyways. Yep, carry on. That's all. So this roof here is not going anywhere. I got a leg bolted in down in here and here and here and it's just, it's not going anywhere. A freaking tornado wouldn't rip this roof off. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this one. It's two inches shy from eight feet, and don't worry, there's still more going on top. This thing might look like a piece of crap right now, but 
All you need to have is imagination. This isn't going to be a piece I'm done like next week. I still got to get the boards because I used up all my all my uh, slabs that I got last year for Christmas trees. So I need to get some more slabs. Um, it, there's lots to do. So this this piece is is not going to be a rush piece. Who knows? I might not finish it till the end of August. I don't care. It's just going to be a piece where, you know, when I get tired of carving wood spirits or whatever I'm carving, I want to tinker around on this and just kind of do what I want to do. You know, so that's it for this one. Let's see. Uh, but yeah, so I love. I got lots of. Look at this. This this roof's not going anywhere. But uh, so like I got all the overhang here, so I can cut it on a slope, and then carve a wood spirit looking down. So this is flush here, and then it'll be like this. Oh yeah, there's tons I can do. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna carve on the sides. I might, like I said, I might carve a tree with some roots going down here I might carve some vines I'd love to hear you guys ideas I carve wood spirits I can carve wood spirits on the face right here I can car I got to carve all in the inside here because there's gonna be a wicked light a cast iron old light hanging down here also so this is gonna be the front of the roof and like I said it's gonna be sloped out each each side's gonna be sloped out like that so I'm thinking about getting a solar powered light, but if anybody has any good information on solar powered stuff, maybe I'll leave a comment and uh, possibly even chat with me through email or something because somebody wanna, might wanna put this out in the middle of their yard, whoever's gonna buy it. And it will be a bitch for them to run an extension cord out there and hide the extension cord. So I think this piece might be good solar powered. Even if it's like four or 500 bucks. Well, 300 bucks for the solar powered thing. This isn't the piece I'm gonna sell for cheap. I'll tell you that much right now. This is not, when this is done, right now, like right, right now, I'm saying it looks like a piece of shit, but you just wait, you just wait. Carbon fusion, over and out. Let's do this.